Hi, it's Sandy Parker, and welcome to Crafting for Almost Everyone. Today we're going to look at some presents my friend sent me. I hope you'll stay tuned. Well, my friend Francis sent me some cards, and this is one of the never-ending cards like the one I made on my channel. And if you've never made one of these, sorry, Francis, I screwed it all up. But if you've never made one of these, I'll show you the link where it just continuously goes you know, it f goes from pattern to pattern to pattern. And um, she did a great job on it. There's that one. And then she made this one. It's so sweet with little flowers on it. And then just a note, very cute. She also sent me some boxes. I was telling her that sometimes I make cards that don't fit into regular envelopes. So she had these boxes that are kind of made so that they would fit a card. I thought that was really nice of her to send those from Scotland. It was very sweet of her. Then my friend Sherry sent me a big box of things. First off, let me tell you that Sherry and I are think alike. I had just been talking about how my Barely Art Glue, I didn't have a way to hold, to plug the hole in the black tip. I was having trouble keeping, well, getting the glue to come out after I used it because there's no, there's no way to close this hole up unless you take this tip off and put another one on. So I contacted the Barely Art people and they said there's this um, stand, stand DIY that you're supposed to be able to use your glue on and so what I did was I ordered it and I figured I would be the guinea pig for all of us to see if this really does work and what you do with it making sure I understand this whole process you just fold the base you're gonna fold it and then put the little tip into that back part then all you're gonna do this is my understanding, is you put your tip, they give you an extra piece of, this just looks like foam to me. What you're supposed to do is you're supposed to put your glue bottle in with the tip, hopefully you can see this, with the tip on that pink piece. I'm gonna put my other piece in the back so I don't lose it. And um, that is supposed to make it so that your glue doesn't drip, it doesn't clog, blah, blah, blah. Long story short, we're going to check this out and see if it works in the long run. But back to Sherry. Sherry's such a sweet woman. She heard me complaining about why I can never get my glue to work. And so she made her own DIY glue holder. And I thought this was genius. What you do is you get one of these votives from the Dollar Tree and she just put a lot of hot glue in the bottom. Then she stuck the lid to her glue in there. And then all you do when you want to use it is you just unscrew it and take it out. Now, it won't work for my barely art glue problem because I don't have any um, lid for that. But hopefully that stand DIY will work. I'm not sure if any of you are familiar with tools that they've been making on the internet to rub over the misty. As you know, I use my foot a lot of the times, but I bought this Baron a while ago at Dick Blick and it never occurred to me to put something on the bottom to make it slide easier, like these felt pads and or a piece of felt that has like the sticky stuff or maybe even fun foam. Anyway, those are all some things I should have done but haven't to make my Baron work better to rub across the misty. And if you're not familiar with what I'm talking about, what you do is when you're, when you're struggling to get a good impression, you basically just rub this across instead of using your hand straight on it. Just the new gadgety thing that's out there. So Sherry sent me this. She found it on the internet and I'm going to try and get the link to the woman that made this. I thought it was really slick. I don't know what she calls it, but um, same, same system. So Sherry also sent me this dry erase magnetic eraser. I'm not sure what's magnetic about it. Uh, let's see if it attaches to anything. I don't know. I don't see it. Oh, there you go. It does it. It uh, just attached to a magnet there. So let's see if it'll stick to the misty. It doesn't stick really well, but you could 
if you wanted to, you could put a magnet, you know, to make it stick more, you could put a magnet on it to, you know, make it stick a little bit better. But anyway, um, that was a good idea to use this instead. And actually, of the of all of them, I think it's easier for me to hold on to this one. So if you have arthritis or a hand is issue where you can't, you know, bend, squeeze your hand all the way shut, I think of all of them, this one would be the best, at least for me. So thank you, Sherry, for those. Let me show you some of the other things that Sherry sent me. Then she got the Tailored Expression blending brushes and the storage caddy for me which i think was just so sweet thank you so much it was such a lovely generous gift haven't put that together yet but let me show you some of the stamp sets that she's also sent me and there are a lot of them this is from fun stampers journey it's a paper doll there are three stamps in that and then this one is from w plus nine and it's called tossed florals it's a good background stamp and then this one is from rubber dance stamps and it's called handsome hedgehog and it's pretty good size look at the size of that pretty good size and this one's from recollections and it's a unicorn it's a stamp and die it's called cheeky modern pop it's got a unicorn and it's got a unicorn die and this one's from The Greeting Farm, and it's called Happiest Birthday Stamp. Makes a birthday cake and cupcake and a banner. Then this is, it, it's a gate embossing folder. Can you see the gate? And then there's some stamps that go with the gate idea that says friendship is like a beautiful garden the more you put into it the more it grows that's beautiful and then here's a birdhouse and a fence and a watering can and some pots with some flowers and a wheelbarrow and some birdies love it and here is, these are just some loose stamp sets of i'll get these out of the way so you can see it better some butterflies with no name on that set and then this one makes a wreath and you'd put um, sentiments inside the wreath. Happy Mother's Day, Be My Valentine, Love. Anyway, there's that one. Then from Fun Stamper's Journey, pretty label number one. Not exactly sure if that's a stamp or a die or both. So we're going to pop it out of there and see what it is. It is ooh, red rubber. You know I love a red rubber stamp. Red rubber stamp. And it makes... Um, it makes that label right there. Then, oh, let me put that back in because you know I'll lose it if I don't. Then, she, these are really fun. She sent me these little hearts that are, uh, they have sequins on them. I don't know, can you see the sequins? They're pretty, aren't they? Love them. They're from Fun Stamper's Journey, or maybe they're not. Yeah, they're called Sparkle Love Elements, and their number is AC0149 in case you are interested in finding them. Then, this is Sheena by Sheena Douglas, Perfect Partners Time Travel in the Pipeline Metal Die Set. It makes all these pipes. Gotta love that. That's fun. Then there's some big... These are... Wait, I gotta find... Yeah, these are a banner and numbers. These are stamps. And then here are the dies that go with it. And then this is... Only you, the stamps, and only you, the dies. I told you she sent me a lot of stuff. This is a lovely box of goodies. Um, this one is from Tonic, and it's a photo strip. And it's called a Keepsake Bookmaker Photos and Film Strip Die Set. And you can kind of see them on the back. See the dies of the film strip? That's so cute. This is an umbrella from... W plus nine and it's called I'm thinking it's probably called umbrella but it's called pretty patches umbrella then she sent me these from craft perfect they're little silver glitter bows that's what they're called silver glitter bows and she sent me some twine from we are memory keepers and we talked about me 
needing containers for any projects I would do with my mica powder. So she sent me all these little bottles that have little lids. And those would be great for when I need to do my mica projects. And then she sent me two fun pens. And she sent me a golden retriever diamond painting. The last thing that uh, Sherry did is she made this cute little... I think it's supposed to be like um, a little album. I'm going to call it a little album. It's really cute. And um, I'll duplicate this if you guys think you'd like me to make one. In the meantime, I will tell you what I've got upcoming in videos. I'm going to be making some storage. Um, I think I showed you that one of the Paper Craft Society kits that I got. I decided that the way that they they organize their kits, I really, really like this, to have your dies and your stamps together and your paper that matches it. I'm not gonna do anything with the paper, but I do think, for instance, this is a Christmas set, but it's also primarily birds. I'm thinking that I'm going to make some of these folders and make one bird you know, like it's going to be bird themed, things like that. And so I'm going to um, make a template for that. And that's going to be coming up in a video as well as my six by six paper storage. That's also coming up. So I hope that you enjoyed this. I loved everything I got. Sherry Francis, thank you so much for my lovely, lovely gifts and cards. I hope you enjoyed this, that you give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And please tell your friends about me on social media because you know I love that. And thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.